These are a pretty rare catch for spearfishers in the UK. I'm not aware of anyone having posted uh, footage of them spearfishing a lemon sole here. There's a lot of pollock, coal fish and wrasse in these areas and it would be pretty easy to shoot a lot of them. But the species that I like to target are cod and ling. It can be quite hard to accurately judge the size of the fish in holes, so I had a good look to make sure that it was big enough. Sometimes to find cod and ling you really need to get right down into the wreck and look in gaps that you don't think are big enough to hold fish but they can go back a long way and then you need to try and thread the spear through the gaps to get to the fish. never seen a wolf fish in the sea before but they are in this area so I went looking for them. The dives are below 20 meters and I'm diving onto rock that's covered in brittle stars. I did a few dives looking for wolf fish but it's pretty tough work and you're trying to find the holes where they could be hiding. Unfortunately I only got a small window to do this with the slack current before I was pushed off as I'm shore diving. I was diving in an area to remove ghost pots and the commercial guys saw and they told me about a cage that they had lost. Uh, so what happens is they, they set their pots out, they get the lobsters, they ban the claws and then they put them in a cage. When they get enough together they go and sell them and the lobsters in this area get sold to Spain. A boat propeller would cut the rope and, uh, and that's how they lost it. <clears throat> Uh, the, the cage had been there a couple of weeks. There was 42 lobsters in that cage, but at least half of them were probably dead. But it's still good to get some of them back and get the guy's cage back. He really appreciated it. I spoke to a few of them and they say that you know almost all their catches are about 87 mil, which is the minimum size, and, you know, and some above that. But they don't ever get big ones in that particular area. Uh, when you have hundreds of pots out and you catch huge quantities of predominantly small lobsters, you have less big lobsters, it's not rocket science, uh, they don't v-notch either. So if you want to find decent lobsters you need to go to an area where it doesn't get hammered by commercial fishing and that's exactly what I did.
there were loads of nice lobsters on this reef, which was really good to see. I know some people say that bigger lobsters are often chewier and tougher or whatever, but I've not found that to be true at all. This lobster was super tender, really, really delicious. While getting the razor clams I spotted loads of these whelks, these are the common whelks. Um, I was tempted to, to try them, but if the options are cherry sea snail or big king scallop, I'm going to choose king scallop, so they all went back. This is a horse mussel, I found a few of them as well, which is um, pretty exciting to see as I don't, they have more of a northern distribution, I don't see them uh, down on the south coast of England. Diving up in Scotland has been really good fun. It can be really hard work and there's nothing there and then other times I'm catching species and seeing things that I've never seen before so that was really cool. Uh, I still think there's a lot of places that are pretty much unexplored by Spiros and I reckon there's still a lot of great fish out there and hopefully I can go back in the future and find them. <laughs>